Now we're going to demonstrate how to use a thermocoagulator on an actual patient. We're going to use this model. It's really important before you do the procedure with the patient that you first obtain consent from the patient and then let the patient know that there are some side effects that they may experience after the procedure, such as some mild pain can be very normal, watery discharge, or even a little bit of bleeding or spotting. Once you ask for informed consent, then you're gonna go on to the procedure. Now remember, you wanna make sure that your battery is turned on and has sufficient charge. Then you'll want to plug the battery in to your device and you will know that it's plugged in by the green light. Remember, in order to start the heating, first make sure that the slider is moved up covering the probe and then you will push the heating button. But before you start the heating, you'll wanna go ahead and insert the speculum. Make sure that you have gloves on, let the patient know that you're gonna start the procedure. So we will insert a speculum and find the cervix and make sure that we see a lesion and that we have good visualization and feel like the procedure is able to be performed. Now we'll start the heating process. When the heating process is started, we'll see a green light as well as the LED lights will be illuminated. During this process, it is again important to make sure that the slider is all the way covering the probe as the probe will start to be warm. Now that you see the green button is no longer flashing, it is time to insert with the slider forward the entire probe in and on the cervix. Now you wanna be covering the lesion and you'll start the timer. Pull the slider back. Make sure that you're all the way against the cervix. And now we'll wait, watching the blue light. We will hear two beeps. And then the third time we'll hear a double beep and the blue light will go off. And that will notify us that the procedure is complete. Now that the timer is off, move the slider forward to protect the vaginal walls as we remove the probe from the patient. Turn the heating off, place this down, and remove your speculum.